Hi everyone, I'm Catherine. Today I am bringing out my crock pot. You know, I was in my freezer rummaging around and I found some spring rolls and also some dumplings and I'm like, I need a main course. And I came up with broccoli and beef. That sounds so delicious. All right, I went to the store and I found these beautiful heads of broccoli here that I'm going to use. And then, you know, find your beef. I found some that was already pre-sliced at the store. I'm just going to put that all into the crock pot with a delicious sauce. You know what I'm talking about. And then it's all going to go over some rice. All right. If you are ready for this one, I'm going to tell you what. Let's get started. Now, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. All right. Grab your crock pot and let's put this one together. All right, so the ingredients that we're going to need to make our beef and broccoli in the crock pot, I have two pounds of sirloin steak that is sliced very thin. We're going to need one cup of beef broth, half a cup of soy sauce, a quarter cup of brown sugar, one tablespoon of sesame oil, two teaspoons of minced garlic. We're going to need some cornstarch, and water for a slurry that we're going to use at the end of it to thicken our sauce with. And then I have about three heads, and these are kind of small heads of broccoli. This is fresh broccoli, so I'm going to chop them up into florets, or you can also use like frozen broccoli if you want to do that. All right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and put this all in the crock pot, and we're going to get it going. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now into the sleeve of my crock pot. I'm going to add one cup of beef broth. Then I'm going to add half a cup of soy sauce. I'm going to add my quarter cup of brown sugar. My one tablespoon of sesame oil. That's going to give it some really good flavor there. And two teaspoons of garlic. I'm going to take my whisk and blend this all together. Mmm, that's good. All right, now to my mixture here. I'm going to go ahead and add my two pounds of sirloin. This was pre-cut in the store. Okay, now make sure all of the meat is covered in your sauce mixture here. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead now and place my lid on my crock pot, and then I'm going to select low for, I'm going to start it at five hours, and then I'm going to come back and check it around that time. And then I'm going to let you know how we're going to handle the broccoli. All right, I'll be back. All right, so I've got about 45 minutes left on my crock pot, and the meat is getting really tender. So what I'm going to do is start preparing my broccoli because I want to put the broccoli in about the 45 minute mark. Okay, it just depends on how tender you want your broccoli or how soft you want it or crunchy you want it as to when you'll put it in. All right, so I'm just going to make little florets out of these heads of broccoli here. It's going to take off pieces like that. I'm just going to put them in my little strainer here. And then I'm going to give them a good rinse and then put them into my crock pot. As long as we do bite-sized pieces, that's good. Alright, so before I take the lid off my crock pot to check my meat and my sauce, I'm going to go ahead now and I've got four tablespoons of cornstarch, which I'm using right here, to four tablespoons of water and I'm just giving that a mix. This has become a slurry, and it'll help thicken up that sauce that's in there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take my lid off. 
Oh, it smells amazing, y'all. All right, I'm gonna go ahead now and pour my slurry in. And then I'm just gonna give that a mix. Oh, did you see how thick that got? Look at that. Oh, perfect. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get my broccoli that I rinsed off in my sink. I'm gonna go ahead now and put that in. And then we're gonna mix that all together. All right, now to get my broccoli tender, I'm gonna put the lid back on and I'm gonna let it cook for another 40 minutes and then that's the texture that I'm gonna be looking for. All right, let's go ahead and take the lid off. All right, we just can't stand it any longer. It smells amazing, like a Chinese restaurant in here. Look at that, y'all. All right, I've made some rice, so I'm gonna go ahead and plate that up and then I'm gonna spoon this over it and then I'm gonna try it for you. All right, I'm gonna sprinkle some sesame seeds on here. There we go. There's my beef and broccoli in the crock pot. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. My husband can't wait for this one. I've got it over some basmati rice and I just sprinkled some sesame seeds on it. I'm gonna go in for you. I'm gonna take a bite of the meat here. Mm. That is so tender and so delicious. All right, I'm gonna try the broccoli for you. Mm. That sauce went all the way through that broccoli. Oh my gosh, it tastes so good. And it's just tender enough for us. All right, y'all, drag your crock pots out. It's time. Put some broccoli, some beef in it, and make your beef and broccoli. All right, comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll know when shows like this are posted. All right, I'll see you on the next one.